Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today, this is uh, what we got in the mail. This is a cruise control switch for our Toyota Tacoma. I got this on eBay for about, uh, what was it like, between, between 10 to $12. And then it came with the little wiring harness and two screws. So what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to install this on the steering wheel and uh, see if we can get cruise control. See if this uh, 2017 Toyota Tacoma is already already pre-wired with, uh, with the cruise control. So uh, stay tuned guys. First we're going to disconnect the battery and then we're going to attempt our install. Okay guys, so we went ahead and disconnected the negative uh, connection, negative terminal connection, and all we needed was a 10 millimeter, ton, 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. So we went ahead and hit it back here so it wouldn't jump up and, and hit and have a risk of, of turning on again or connecting. So now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what all we need to do on the inside. Okay guys, so we're in here, inside, we're going to go ahead and take off this, this cap here and expose the, the torque screw that we need to remove. And then we're also going to turn the wheel. I have the key inside the ignition to be able to turn it. It's a little bit hard because we don't have power steering. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and also remove this one. And uh, there we have the other Torx screw that we're going to remove. So we're going to remove this one and the one on the other side. Okay guys, so it appears that this Torx screw size is a Torx T30. So we're going to go ahead and put in the Torx screwdriver. And then we're going to clamp a... Uh, clamp our what's it called our wrench this we're gonna clamp it on here and then we're gonna turn it that way which is counterclockwise to take it off so I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't have uh, more than two hands so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back with you guys okay guys so it took a little bit of muscle to to get this uh, this one unstuck they're 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 torqued on they're pretty tight uh, but I finally got it so we're gonna go ahead and take this one off and try not to lose it inside of of here I don't know if that's all it goes that's all I need to do so I'm gonna go ahead and and leave that one just loose there and uh, maybe we'll just turn the steering wheel see if it'll if it'll fall down and then we're gonna untighten the other one. Okay, so now we're gonna loosen this other side here. And this one's uh, a little bit further up. So we're gonna loosen that one and uh, see how hard it is to, to get it unstuck. Okay guys, so we got this one unstuck. It did take a little bit of, of strength. I, I went ahead and just did it only with the screwdriver. I didn't need the the pliers to to help me out but it is it is pretty hard you have to have a pretty good torque screwdriver to be able to get those loose so we're gonna now attempt to go to the next step and I believe it's taking off the uh, the front airbag so that's why you gotta make sure that you have the battery disconnected so that the airbag does not go off and hurt you so we're gonna attempt to do that Okay guys, for our next step, I believe the airbag should come off pretty easily once those torque screws are loosened completely. Yep, there it is. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and loosen those two wires that are there. We're going to get a small screwdriver and put it in there and pop these up. There's other videos that show you this in detail. I'm just showing you this on a third gen Tacoma so that you guys can know what to expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these off camera since I don't have a tripod that can hold the camera for me. Uh, I'm just gonna pry it up, pry it up, pry it up. 
and then remove these two cables and then I believe we're gonna remove this black cable here so stay tuned okay guys so we got those two cables disconnected it was pretty easy now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the ground wire which is that black wire there and uh, then we'll go on to our next step okay all three wires are disconnected and now we're gonna go ahead and get our cruise control stock and see if we can connect this one okay guys before we feed this through through there through there we're gonna go ahead and install our little harness that came with it so one of the sides has about uh, what are those like four connections and then one of them has three little connections and the one here on the cruise control stock if you can see that it has three so we're gonna connect the the one that has three into there like so it's the three one yeah like so there we go it looks like it's all the way in and locked. And then we're gonna feed it through. Okay, I finally figured it out, guys. So this top hole goes inside the pin, and then this one's for the screw, and this one's also for the screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in there and tighten them. Nothing, no science behind tightening screws. So I'm gonna put those in there. And then we'll see our next step. Okay, so we got this secured. It's nice and secure. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect the harness. It's got four pins. And this one has four pins. So we're gonna connect it there with the tab, the locking tab facing up. There we go connected so let's go on to our next step okay guys so once we connected our cruise control stock tighten that and connected our harness we're gonna reconnect our wires back to our airbag and also the um, ground wire so we're gonna go ahead and do that next okay guys so we got those three wires connected it's pretty pretty easy to connect these wires let me see if I can Disconnect one and reconnect it. So basically when you're about to reconnect it, you pull up on the tab, you push the orange part in, and then you press down on the yellow one. Once the orange part is in, you press down on the yellow. Same with the black one. You pull this tab up, insert the black part, and then press the yellow tab in for it to lock. So that's basically it. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and re-tighten the torque screws. We're going to set our airbag back in place and we're going to retighten the torque screws. Um, one, uh, one thing that you need to make sure, guys, is that you torque these down very or not soup, not tight and tight to the point that you're going to strip this, but tight enough so that this airbag is secure so that in case of an accident this this airbag doesn't go flying and, and hurt the driver <clears throat> okay guys in order to tighten these torque screws <clears throat> what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to push down on the airbag you see that space there you, you got to push it down and then and then tighten it if not the uh, torque screw won't go in you can turn forever and it won't go in so you got to press down and uh, and then drive it in. Okay guys, so just a word of caution, uh, one of these torque screws was not lining up correctly. It was actually facing that way. When I put the airbag in, I guess it, it pushed on, on the outside of the hole. So make sure that they're aligned, make sure that they're securing the airbag uh, it's very very important I cannot stress that enough uh, 
if you go ahead and just screw it in if it's pointing that way and you screw it in that's not going to hold the airbag because it's not going to be going into the into the uh what's it called into the hole that it's supposed to be in securing it uh, just to make sure you can give a little tug on the airbag on both sides and make sure that it's secure so yep just a word of caution there so let's go ahead and put these covers on I'm, I'm just gonna put the cover on one side on this side on the other side where I have the, the cruise control stock I'm just gonna leave it off for now um, and then we're gonna test to see if it'll turn on and off the cruise control and then later on I'll probably drill a hole on the cover and just slide it in and, and put it on or I can order the cover the custom cover that comes uh, for this so stay tuned okay guys so all the connections have been made inside all of the uh, all of the wires have been connected the airbag is secured uh, I already put the cover on this side like I said this side's gonna stay open for now and we'll figure it out we're gonna go ahead and take off the key from the ignition and we're gonna reconnect the negative terminal to the battery to bring power back to the vehicle so let's go ahead and do that now and then, and then we're just gonna retighten that so our tools here some of these are kind of rusty and we're gonna use the 10 millimeter socket and the wrench sorry about the rusty tool guys as long as they work right whatever gets the job done make sure to not touch both positive and negative on on your battery so we're just gonna retighten that and we will be right back okay guys that negative uh, battery terminal is secure now for the moment of truth let's see if this works let's get our keys and we're gonna just turn it on to the ignition on one more right there and we're gonna look at the dashboard and see if this button turns on the cruise on our dashboard if it does it should work so here we go okay and it looks like it's not working so this truck looks like it's not pre-wired for cruise control man i thought it was going to be an easy fix uh we're gonna have to order some more parts and uh and get the wiring done guys oh well we'll see you guys on the next video okay guys we're back and uh, I actually hadn't turned it on to the on position or maybe something happened when I disconnected the uh, the battery but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this again. Moment of truth, if this turns on the cruise control button, this means that this base model 2017 Toyota Tacoma is pre-wired for cruise control. Here we go, guys. And it is, oh man, look at that. On, off, on, off. That is exciting, guys. Um, wow, I thought I got I had gotten ripped off because I didn't have cruise control uh, on this truck, but it appears that it's pre-wired. I ordered this from eBay for about uh, like 10 or 12 dollars and it appears to work. So we're gonna we're gonna take it for a quick test drive and we're gonna see 
if it truly does work, guys. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So we're just leaving the house to go test this. To go test the uh, cruise control that we just installed on the vehicle. And uh, we're going to try to get out to a road that allows us to go at least 30 miles per hour so that we can test and see if it actually works. So stay with me. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so from my understanding, in order for the cruise control to engage on most vehicles, you have to get up to 25 miles per hour and then set it. So we're gonna try it here. We're gonna go up to 25. And then we're gonna attempt to set it. It's already turned on. We're a little bit over 25. The set light came on and let's see if it holds the speed. And yeah, it's holding the speed guys. So it works. I cannot believe it for less than $15. I'd have to check. I don't know how much it was for taxes. It was, I think, free shipping. It just said out of the country, from out of the country, they're on uh, eBay. Uh, so it was shipped from out of the country. I don't know if it was from China, but basically for less than $15, I now have cruise control on my truck. Cruising along right now at 35. Let's see if the mile per hour up works. You hear the engine rev up a little bit. Yep. It's all working. All the functions are working, guys. This is awesome. Let's see if the cancel works. Yep. It takes off the set. Let's press down to set it again at our current speed and it works. I'm so excited guys, this is crazy, this is awesome. Uh, this is why I have this YouTube channel, to be able to share this stuff with you guys so that you too can save money on, uh, on different things. Uh, so if you have any comments, comment down below guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out if you really appreciate these videos and uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Go ahead and leave a comment to see what video you want to see next, guys. We'll see you on the next one.